Hello everyone, my name is Michael Har. I am the Holy Prophet Elijah. Today I want to talk to you about lies versus the truth, our perception of truth, and the Christian lies that propagate the world today. Perception is everything, and one of the things we all need to learn is to look at the other person's perspective. Because that's when our truth versus the truth comes into play. If I were to label somebody as a bad person because I think that they're a bad person, that's my perspective. And that's my truth, but that's not the truth. The truth, the truth, is unchallengeable. It is based in facts and evidence. You can't question it. You can't fight against it. It will defend itself. And this is where we get into lying and how lies hurt people. Lies hurt the world, especially Christian lies. Let's take a few examples here. Let's say God gives a Christian a vision, right? What he expects of that person is to just give the vision, what they saw. He doesn't want their added perspective. He doesn't want their lies interwoven into it. He just wants that vision. A lot of Christians today, they'll get visions, but they'll, they'll, then they'll interweave their own lies, their own perspectives, their own truths into the mix. And that's when the world and people are led astray. For millennia, pastors and preachers have interwoven their truths, their truths, not the truth, into scripture. They have connected verses that don't even go together. A word that appears in only one book and try to connect it with every other scripture imaginable. They'll try to twist and turn and tell you then oh this is what this means when clearly God laid it out in the plain text this is why Christ has returned because he needed to set the record straight to undo the lies that Satan told the world because We've all been deceived, even before we were born. We were told his name was Jesus. As soon as we were born, we were told, you know, his name's Jesus, there's an Antichrist. Uh, we don't get reincarnated, this is the only life we live. You know, the lies go on and on. And we need to work against it by speaking truth, the truth, based on the facts and evidence, and not our own perceived notions of what the truth is. So fight against lies by spreading tr the truth. Spread the teachings, do the research. Don't listen to a preacher just because he says this is what it is. Do the research. God gave you a mind for a reason. He wants you to think. He wants intelligent people in the new kingdom. So I hope this reaches you. God bless you all in the name of Lord Ryle.